Welcome to another edition of Waters Ironworks. We are uh, still continuing our way through the Abana National Curriculum. We're on section 1.11, so we are over halfway on the downhill slope of things. Um, last time, if you'll remember, we made a drift. Um, today, we're gonna be making the slot punch to go along with it. Um, this will be very similar to the uh, round punch um, and the chisel that we made as far as the back end. The real difference will be up here in the front, although even that's not really all that different. So pretty easy project. Both of these combined are gonna be used with a big piece of one inch square steel in order to make our monkey tool. And that'll be coming in next week's video. Actually, maybe it's one after that. I think we've got one in there about heat treating as well. Um, but you know, no reason to belabor the point. Let's uh, get our steel hot. We'll start making the back end the handle first, and then we'll flip it around and work on the front end. Um, should be pretty quick. So we're gonna come in, just make a lazy uh, octagon here in the back. Let's keep this all nice and flat. Once we've got our struck end ready, we'll come in, we'll file a chamfer on those. We're gonna come over here to the horn and I've got a rounding hammer. We're gonna put our indexing in on this. Try and keep it all nice and straight here. That looks pretty good. Handle end of this is done. Since we're making a slot punch and we want it to match up with our drift, uh, we're gonna to need to draw this out a little bit rectangular down to um, an eighth by seven eighths, I think are the right dimensions. Uh, and then we'll bring that back and match it up with our indexing. So we are gonna wanna make sure that we're staying in line here, either this way or this way, um, but so that it is in alignment with our indexing when we're using the tool. All right, <clears throat> forge this taper down first. That from spreading too far. I have a little bit of fish slipping going on, so rather than file it or cut it flat, we're gonna whew, do a little bit of work to keep that nice and flat as we take it down here. I've got my calipers set based off of the tool that we made last time. So I can check that. I think we're right about where I wanna be. We'll lose a little bit with some filing and cleanup work that we're gonna do. So I think I'm gonna leave it there and we're gonna start working on bringing that taper back. So we've got a nice taper going here. Our next step is gonna be double checking our dimensions. So we're looking good there. We're definitely a bit wide. 
this direction. So we're gonna get this hot and we're gonna bring it in a little bit on the sides. Try and do as much of this uh, via forging as we can. Have to do as little grinding or firework as possible. in there maybe it's looking pretty good if we compare that to our drift a little bit extra width We're gonna straighten this out a little bit, take off some of these uh, sharper corners on it, and we'll start looking at cleaning it up and doing our heat treat. I'm just coming in, trying to make sure everything looks nice and reasonably straight. Let's knock those corners in a little bit. Sharpen up our end. That's looking pretty good. So we're gonna take this, heat it up one more time, then let it cool down slowly uh, to give it at least one round of normalizing. Um, and then we're gonna go clean it off, get it nice and shiny, and we'll look at quenching. This one, I think we'll quench it in the water and we'll try and do our tempering by retaining some heat in the back end of the tool and letting that flow up to the front. Um, Yet another way that you can temper these tools through the videos, trying to show you guys a variety of different options. We've got it hot, uh, or it was hot, but when I first pulled it out, um, we're just gonna set it on the anvil here, let it cool down slowly, give it one pass on normalizing before we go in and we clean it up and get it ready for the heat treat. And I'm gonna go pull some clinker out of my fire. All right, so we've got it cleaned up. It's nice and shiny now, which will be important when we go in and we're watching the colors run and we do our tempering on this. Um, since I am going to temper this with residual heat, I want to make sure this back end is nice and hot as well as the front. So we're going to heat this end up first in the fire, flip it around, heat up the other end, and then we'll go for a quench in the quench tub. We've got a good heat on this. So out of the fire, into the quench tub, some figure eight, swirl it around down there. Make sure the tip gets nice and cool, but we want to leave plenty of heat in the back end here it's looking pretty good i'm gonna file this so that we can see it's looking pretty hard we've got a okay spot there we can watch the colors hopefully that'll show up on the camera i see a little bit of bronze back here <clears throat> Yeah, we've got some purples and blues back here and the bronzes there. Really want to see that uh, straw bronze color. Make it all the way up to the tip here. And slowly moving forward. We're up to about here with the dark purples. I can see some straw color all the way up to this area right now does tend to move faster as it gets thinner. I'm seeing it into this area. Our purples are back here, blues and purples. I'm seeing a little bit of color in some of these scratches up here. It's a little, a little hard to see those. <clears throat> yeah, we've definitely got some bronze up there. So with that, go ahead and quench the whole thing. So we've heat treated it. I took it back to the grinder, and if you want to come in here and get a close shot, Gregory, you can see what I've done is the final inch or so um, that's going to be actually going through the metal. I've gone in and I've rounded those edges off. The profile on the front 
is very, very flat with nice sharp edges. I did knock a little bit off the corners. Those tend to mushroom out and can be a bit of a problem. So we just took those off, but we left the majority of it um, very flat, sharp corners on it, rounded here. The name of the game with this and with our drift is we don't want any bumps or anything to catch as we're driving it through the steel. So this is looking excellent. Uh, next week, we're gonna be taking a look at all the details of heat treating. We've got kind of a talking head video with some slides and stuff. Um, to try and get to the essentials of, of the heat treating process and why things work the way they do. Week after that, we're gonna be making our monkey tool. So looking forward to those two videos with you guys and finishing up uh, eventually this uh, introductory Ivana course. See you soon.